Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In our previous video, we discussed uh, the put Excel command. Uh, we are again going to do uh, the same command in this video, but the difference is that in our previous video, we discussed the uh, uh, the uh, the commands are I mean the um, the syntax of that put Excel command. But remember, uh, in Stata, we can do any command either using code, right? or using the menus. So in previous video, we discussed the codes of put Excel command, but put Excel is um, uh, so much complex command that would also like to do it using the menus because with complex commands, certain uh, users uh, mo prefer more to work with, with menus, uh, at least for the first time when they want to get familiar with the command. So, so for each command, there is menu and then there is code. Uh, so we did put Excel code for in our previous video and we are going to do the menu of put Excel in this video. So for that, let's first uh, change, uh, do our change directory. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, set my current directory as D put Excel folder. You can all do that using clicking by clicking on file and then click on change working directory then select whichever directory you want to store uh, your files into. Uh, that's important because once you save the Excel file, you uh, uh, it, it, it would be saved in the whatever the working directory is and you can find the current working directory down below in the left hand corner. So for, for me currently it's C user laptop documents, but this is not what I want. I want it to be D put Excel. So whatever Excel file it would save, now it would go to D Excel, put Excel file folder. Okay, so starting with the command, we, uh, the put Excel command, we click on the file, then we click export results to Excel spreadsheet. And you can see that we have a put Excel command. So we can either set a worksheet, uh, export the results, describe uh, the current export setting or we can clear the current export setting. Uh, remember, if you want to work with all these, we first need to set an Excel file. And if you click on export the file, it says that you must set the Excel file uh, for this command to work. So first we go to the set work boot, uh, for export. This is the, uh, the thing that we did in our previous lecture. It was put Excel set uh, code. Okay, so we can either create a new worksheet, we can modify an existing one, or we can replace the existing Excel sheet. I do not have an Excel sheet created, so I'm going to create a new one. We are going to give it a name, uh, the file name. And we can have a new worksheet within that, uh, uh, I mean, which, whatever name you want to give it to, and you can replace that worksheet. So once I have, uh, I'm done with the inputs, I would click on submit and it would set that Excel sheet. So it wouldn't create the file. You can see that in my working directory, this Excel file is not created. The environment is just set, so whatever I export, it would go to this results.excel file. So next we go to the export results and we click on create. Uh, so on this window, we create the expression, right? So uh, now where do we want to save uh, the results? And let me just bring in the uh, the Excel file, an empty Excel file. Okay, so we know that in Excel we have uh, columns and they are named as alphabets and we have row uh, that are numbered. Uh, with the intersection of this column and row, we can have a cell which is named by its column and row. So this specific uh, cell is called B2. So this is the name of this cell and this specific cell is called A1. So once we understand this, this is what we are going to write over here. This is the reference of the cell. So which cell we want that material, that data to go into. So let's, uh, let me write A1. So I want to write something into this A1 cell. We can overwrite the existing formatting, but let's skip that. So I want to write, uh, this is 
cell a1 this is just a basic example into this cell uh, let's uh, click ok and we would click submit and it says that file results.xl is saved so let me open this folder and you can see that in my working directory this excel file is saved uh, you can see that uh, whatever text i i mentioned is now uh, written over here okay so that was a basic example how to export certain things into uh, into excel let's do some more complex things let's uh, do uh, do some results so let's uh, import some data so i'm going to use sys use auto data this is the auto data that contains the price the make the mileage of different cars their weight and their length so let's regress price on weight and say mpg so we get the results and remember uh, the results uh, are always saved in certain scalar matrices or macros so if you are not familiar with what macro, mac, macros or scalars are you can uh, watch my video on scalars and macros uh, and you would get an idea so all these results are saved into certain macros uh, and we can access those using uh, e return list command so it tells us that the number of observations are stored in this specific macro and the r square stored in this specific macro so you can compare over here similarly uh, the there are matrices that for uh, coefficients so we have three coefficients so it is a vector of one into three uh, and then we have other data related to standard error the t test and the p value and the co confidence intervals okay so we want to get these coefficients right so how do we do that <laughs> so we create a new uh, input let's save this in cell bu uh, rather than uh, d2 right and this time we want to access uh, certain coefficients so we can click on create so we create the expression uh, we have coefficients over here if we click over here we get all the coefficients the variables that we had so let's say i want to access the coefficient of weight click ok and we click ok uh, we submit and now notice here that each time you click submit it would execute all the uh, values all the commands that are over here so it would res export result one result two and so on and so forth but if you do not want that to happen you just want to do the current um, exports of the results too you can simply click over here and disable this one so now if you export it would just perform the uh, the command that is not disabled so whatever is there already would remain there but the execution of the command would be limited so we get the coefficient of 1.74 uh, corresponding to the weight uh, although it does not look quite nice we we should have a text over here representing the name of the column but we know how to do that right so let's do some more uh, complicated things so let's uh, let's also disable this and create a new one uh, let's now save it into c5 uh, and this time instead of expression uh, we want to uh, so we have different options we can either create an expression we can send a formula into excel so that would not be represented as a text but rather a formula into excel we can have image we can access matrices result tests we can do formatting or estimation tables so let's go to matrices so in matrix we can click on find and whatever results we just did we have a matrix over here if you remember it stores into this b matrix right so we want to access this matrix okay and let's click okay and submit 
so it just executes the command let's look into the excel file and you can see all these values are here uh, representing the coefficients of weight uh, mileage and the constant term right but again it does not look quite uh, at least we should have names of the columns and the rows and let's add it this you can see over here within again the matrix uh, type uh, it says that do not write column or row names this was selected by default but we can write the matrix column or row name and row name we can just write the row names or just the column names we will stick with the column and the row name remember whenever we are going to execute a command we are going to submit we need to close the currently opened excel file if it is already open let me just show it to you it would give us an error so now this excel file is opened and if i click on submit it would say that you cannot save this file and the reason is that it is currently open so if you get this error remember that it is simply saying that close the currently opened version of that file now if we click submit open the excel file we can see that because i did that on the same row so this extra thing comes over here but let's ignore that if i had selected any other cell then we wouldn't have this issue so now i get this matrix of weight mileage and constant uh, we can also change this using again the expression and write the uh, price uh, the dependent variable name or whatever we want over here okay so uh, we we can convert the this matrix uh, right rather than having the data over into uh, the variable names into columns we can have that into rows so let me first delete this file uh, so we do not have anything over it okay so if we submit uh, we, let's press enter now instead okay we didn't let me repeat that process okay we write apostrophe and then uh, that would take uh, sort of inverse of that matrix or transpose that matrix right okay so uh, this looks good uh, we can also do uh, create a new uh, we can also do certain formatting so if we have certain dates and we want to export those dates you would be using these um, these dates options we can do uh, other uh, formatting to the data we can change its uh, format we can align the data horizontally or vertically or wrap the text uh, we can merge certain cells but that would only work if we have selected a range of cells right so let me show you uh, how to merge certain cells so let's create a new one uh, for this we would have to click on format and we would select the range of cells so i want to merge a1 till uh, let's say b1 uh, right so these are this is a row of three columns i want to uh, click on alignment and i want to merge cells and let's click submit and when we go to excel we can see that those cells are merged right so if we want to input certain text over here we would just create a new uh, expression and we would select expression write cell a1 and write whatever you want over here and that would go into this merge cell but remember uh, to uh, if you are working with text you should use inverted commas and uh, then that would work because it gave us an error and that would go to that merge cell uh, so this is how it would look like the cell is merged and uh, we have the text over here okay so uh, 
you can do other things like set the border uh, the style of the border the color of the border you can do we fill the cell with certain colors uh, we can also do images so let's just say if we have uh, created a graph we would have to first create a graph so uh, let's create a graph let's create a bar chart uh, we want mean of price and uh, it the bar should be categorized based on whether a car is foreign or uh, a local car and we would save that uh, uh, that file that file into our working directory but remember to save it as an image rather than uh, the status default gph format so that wouldn't work we would need to save it into png format uh, so let's save that and uh, now we know its name its name is graph.png so we copy that and now we want to export that graph into excel so let's create a new uh, expression and let's select image so we want this to be saved in cell a1 and we want to give it the name of the file right okay so uh, let's look into excel and we can see our graph is pasted in a, a cell a1 because the the image size is larger so it would occupy a larger areas okay so we can also look into uh, the file that we are working with we click on describe current export settings so that just tells us we cannot change anything that just tells us the details regarding the file the mode uh, we are in or we can clear the uh, the current setting right so if we clear uh, so it would delete it, the file would remain in our hard drive but it would uh, empty that file's setting from our current version of status. So now um, if I go to export, we do not have anything. We do not have any file, right? So I hope that was useful. Um, I do hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon and stay tuned to this channel.